Hi everyone, it's Big Face uh, with an update on my latest robot, Project Elroy. Um, if you remember from the last video, I was, I'd made the elbow joint. I'm starting work on the, the shoulder. Well, that's more or less complete now. I'll show you what I've got. The uh, original shoulder design was this one with the sort of knuckle joint that provided the three degree of freedom motion that I was after. I found with this one however that I was getting some some bind in that the, the joint wasn't always free to move. Sticking with the biological theme I've gone for a, a ball and socket joint. I've got a stainless steel ball bearing and a nylon socket joint. Um, as you can see I've got these mounting points to connect the motors to move the joint. I've got four motors, two there, two around the other side, that provide a three degree of freedom motion. Uh, I'm quite happy with the range of motion that I get. Um, I'll probably put some photos in, in here this bit and show you the, the range of motion that the arm has got. And there it is. I'm going to have four stretch sensors up on the shoulder joint to, to monitor the, the position that it's in. I'm hoping that four will give me enough to work out where the, the shoulder joint is at any any given time. And there's the elbow joint from the, the first video. I've got all the new motors on there as well, so it's looking nice and shiny. Uh, the other work I've been doing is with the motor control board and the main controller and that's been trying to get the I squared C communications working I'll just flick it on here and see what, what it's doing it's flashing some LEDs I've got the motor controller programmed as a slave and the other control board as the master and, and the master at the moment is just send, flashing an LED sending out a command which is triggering the LED to flash on and off on the motor controller board, as you can see they're flashing in time. So that's it for now. Plenty more work to be done. And I'll be back again soon.